Welcome to tutorial number 7 of Man Win Win Implementation. This video will teach the users how to register non-systematic work orders and access the failure modes tree. Let's start by creating a work order to register a breakdown on a pub. By clicking on the New button, we'll start filling in the work order form. We'll start with a description, then we'll select the equipment. Next, we'll specify the work type, a breakdown in this case, and in the management tab, we'll assign a start date. Assuming this work has already been performed, we will issue it, so it can change its status to in progress. On the diagnosis tab, we'll inform the component, symptom and cause of this breakdown by clicking on the respective buttons. In the Work Descriptions tab, with the New button, we'll choose one of the two options, Work Descriptions Library or Failure Modes, bearing in mind that these two options assume that there has been some previous data entry regarding recurring breakdowns. Or, finally, we can choose to create a new work description. We'll insert a code and a description to this task, as well as a planned maintenance time. And, We'll select the option New Standard Work Description, so this one will be automatically saved into the library. We can also detail the procedure. Similar to what was shown in tutorial number 4, it's possible to plan for the resources, man hours, stock items and contracted services or document attachments. Finally, we'll click on OK and the work description will be created. Before we finish the record of this breakdown, we must inform the system that this task was performed before clicking OK. We can accept the date and hour suggestion. And when we click on OK, the software will alert us regarding the downtime. We'll fill it in accordingly and finish creating this terminated work order. Now, let's access the failure modes tree. This is a structure that's organized by item type, their components, the linked symptoms and the respective causes, ending with the corrective actions that we carried out for each combination. The failure modes tree is automatically fed when we fill in the diagnosis tab and the work description in the work orders, as we can see for the pump item type based on the work order that we just registered. We can also build this tree manually in this window. For example, for the electrical switchboard and for the component switch, we'll add a possible symptom on the new button and again on the new button, a possible cause of failure. For this combination, we'll define what is the corrective action. Using the new button, we'll visit the work descriptions library and, if we don't have one created yet, we can create a new one by clicking on the new button and filling the necessary data. Code, description, plan time and again, we can detail the procedure and can also plan the resources. We'll save it by clicking on OK and then select it for the failure tree mode. We hope that this tutorial was helpful and we invite you to watch the next video to learn how to register performed man hours, stock items and other things in work orders, as well as the associated costs and also how to insert fuel supply records.